back to my channel. My name is Elizabeth. This is EJ Joyful Plans and today we are decorating this layout. This is the extension pack for, it's the, the Hustle and Heart Work From Home extension pack. And I'm using this all month, month of December for social media planning. I really, really love the additional pages that this extension pack comes with. And I actually picked up another one during a recent Happy Planner sale just because I just know I'm going to like it. I might want to do it for the entire 2022 year. So we'll see. Um, but we're just going to decorate this bad boy today. So let's get to it. I think I'm going to use a variety of stickers. But I want to focus on these new Woodland Creatures stickers that I got from JoJo's Pretty Paper Shop. They are so freaking pretty. They are so pretty. And... Um, for the most part, this layout I like to keep open for um, for writing, um, but I'm going to add some decorative elements just kind of around it, around like the, the exterior so that I can uh, make sure I have plenty of room for writing. So the first thing I do with this layout is use my Uniball Signo pen to white out the time. So the hustle and heart kind of work from home extension pack is an hourly layout meaning that on monday and thursday you've got hour blocks from 7 a.m to 7 p.m that's not essential for me uh, especially for this purpose or the purpose that i'm using this planner for which is logging my journey uh par it's partially a, a memory keeper um i'm on the happy planner squad and so you know sometimes there are things that we need to do for that. And so I have things I need to track and I also like to, you know, keep some sort of schedule as much as possible for posting content. And this just helps me stay organized. So let me just say right off the bat, um, you can be engaged in the planner community and have a planner account and not have a social media planner. You don't need to do that. Um, this is just because I'm taking what I enjoy and my hobby and uh, just being a little bit extra and more regimented and intentional with it. And so that means I need I need a planner that's dedicated to it. So we have wide it out Monday and Thursday. The other thing I want to do, um, I like that there's a section here for daily habits. And so you'd put what the habit is and then you'd check off as you go for each day. So you've got two habit sections. Um, I think that is a really great idea and I tried using it for checking off when I responded to YouTube comments and Instagram comments. I could take it or leave it for that function and I'm not sure if I want to leave it or take it today. So I'm gonna leave that for now and I really like these birch trees. I think they're birch trees. Aren't these birch trees? Right? This way. And I'm going to lay these trees here in this corner just to add a little panache. And actually, look, I think it's going to cover up this whole section. So if that's the case, I'm just going to go ahead and wipe that out and do that. And... I'm going to white this out as well and these little arrows. So I might still use the shaded checkbox area. I just, I'm not going to have those header options. I'm not going to use those. So we're going to lay some trees down and I might actually, um, I might actually cut some to make some smaller trees, but I'm gonna go up this way just so that I cover up those arrows. And then let's let's actually just go ahead and do that. I'm gonna cut maybe here. I know that's kind of strange, but I want a middle height, a middle heighted tree. So I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna put it right here. And trim this off the bottom. And then, you know, I'm all about the symmetry. So I'm going to add, oh no, 
Make sure you rip or you pull these off carefully, gingerly. I'm going to add this guy over here. And I don't want too much of this to be off the page. So I'll try to I'll go about there. We lost a little bit, but that's okay. I've done, I've done worse. And then this last little guy, I'm going to lay right, I'm gonna put it right here, just like so. So they're kind of bookending the spread and kind of like setting the tone. And then, um, gosh, there are so many beautiful stickers here. Um, I think I wanna use one of these deer down at the bottom. And I'm doing this both because I have the most amount of writing space, or this like leaves writing space, and it also is covering up some of that white out. So we've got the deer there and um, the, gosh, these are so cute. I want to put uh, a fox, put a little fox here. Let me go a little bit further so he's kind of covering up that line like so and oh so cute um gosh i love these so much look at this bear i can't handle it um let's put some birds in the trees shall we like what if we do like a little dude hanging out here and how about one of these little guys? He's hanging out over here. Cute, love it. Um, let's see, I'm gonna add, look at these little like toadstool, are they toadstool mushrooms? I'm gonna add a little, little toadstool mushroom. I don't know if there are mushrooms where there are birch trees, but look. Let's not get caught up in the details of the um, scientific validity of these guys. Maybe I'll put this little guy over here. Um, okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and wipe this out and I'm going to add one of Jojo's boxes. Let's see which one's going to fit the best. Probably this one. I'm going to throw this box up here. Or do we want to go this way? I think we want to go, or do we want to go a little bit smaller? Or do we go bigger and we kind of just cover up? I think we want might want to go bigger and just cover up. Um, like that way. Let's see if this will fit. I think it will without having to add any like white out and stuff, if I go a little bit higher, like that. Yep, so before I push it down, I feel like, like I'm gonna wanna cover that extra white out. And actually let's use, let's use like some of these leaves, just to kind of, cause these leaves are mirrored or they're already like in this box. So I'm just gonna add, should we just add a little bit more? Like that. It's a little weird. It's a little weird, but I'm gonna leave it. 
Okay, so we've got this going, so I've got the middle section still available. And I think I want to use these greeneries kind of up at the top where I'm gonna date this thing. And then I'll just add, um, I wanna add more of these little guys, but I'm just not sure how or where yet. So let's, I'm gonna grab this big one and gosh, like her cuts, her Cricut cuts are so good. Um, let's, what if I just sort of throw this down? So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this. And just do like a, a straight of an edge as possible. So that all I have to do is put the flat edge up at the top of the paper. So we're gonna do these like so. And I am gonna cover up the days of the week. That's okay because I'm going to put down new days of the week just to have it look the way I want it to. I'm gonna put this guy here and let's add some of these red berries. I think these are really pretty and I'm just gonna cut cut it kind of willy-nilly and throw that there and put this guy maybe here um, let's see let's grab this guy and I'm gonna go that. Do I want to add some blue? I do have the, the bird, but the blue is bold. It is a bold blue. I'm uncertain. Cut this. Maybe we just add a little bit, just a tinge there and maybe add this here just one piece one little piece and then I want to cover up these stems so I'm just gonna put this here and trim this so let's assess see how we're looking we want to add more We can see it kind of coming together. Definitely want to add more zhuzh, zhuzh it up. So we'll do, let's do that. And then we'll do another one of the green leaves with, oh no, with the, um, these guys. Hmm. I want to leave, leave this on the paper, so I'm just going to pull this and just cut it right there. These are so cute. I'll go a little bit. No, we'll go all the way, and then I'll just have to trim it or use my, my hole punch. Actually, let's just do that now so I can see what it looks like. Just a little bit. See, sample of what's so cool about this, this extension pack are these task lists. They are fabulous. So we're gonna hole punch this. Put this on your Christmas wish list, y'all. We are Memory Keepers Power Disc Punch. I talk about it all the time because it's absolutely the best. All right, I feel like we're still needing a little something, something over here. So, would it be weird to add more of this? Probably. Something about that just isn't right to me. I'm gonna pull that away. Um, I could just add like the smallest little bit of the blue. Like this guy and just kind of 
tease it look right there or is the issue here I think the issue is here let's see if I can pull this up a little bit and then just lay it down that way I think it needs a little bit more room to breathe though like that I think that works I kind of just filled that in a little bit oops let's not get that stuck okay I still feel like we need something there so maybe I'll just add a little bit of this little residual like I don't know like that sure all right so how are we doing we're looking cute, we're looking cute. You guys, I need more woodland creatures in my life. Um, do we wanna add like the bear? The little fuzzy wuzzy bear? Maybe I should do the bear here rather than the fox and find another place for the fox. If I can't get it to lift, come on, success. Yep, let's do this cute little bear and I'm gonna Wipe that out and put him here. Cute. Cute. Is the fox more likely to be hanging out with a deer? Kind of think so. Hmm. I want to use this. I want to use all these, you guys. I want to use all of them. They're all just so cute. Maybe I can put, would you ever have a fox in a tree? Probably not. Let's put the fox away for a moment. A little hedgehog. Can we put him in here? Is he hanging out with the, yeah, we'll put him down there and Hmm, I'm gonna put the little squirrel up here because he's just too cute and he has to be incorporated somehow. So I'm gonna put him up there. And I guess, I guess I can hold on to the woodland creatures a little bit. I can save these for another spread. I just feel bad like I'm like neglecting them. And I really do love the fox. Hmm. Well, let me move. Let me move forward with dating the top, and then we'll see if I want to add any specialty boxes. And if I add any boxes around here, then I'll be able to. I mean, unless I just kind of throw them down the bottom. I cannot tell you how badly I want to use all the woodland creatures. Let me just throw the fox there. More is more, right? What about the raccoon? Do we want the raccoon on there? <sighs> I don't know. <sighs> okay, we're gonna know when to say when. I'm saying, saying when. And I'm going to leave, do I wanna leave this on there just? No, I'm gonna white it out. Just gonna white it out like so. Okay, let's date this bad mamma jamma. And does my handwritten plans sticker book have days of the week? I kinda don't think so. Nope. It does, you guys. Okay, we are going to use my handwritten plans book to date this bad mamma jamma. And I gotta decide, do I wanna use washi tape? Pretty much always use washi tape. And I think today, because we've got so much going on with the woodland creatures, I think I'm just going to date it proper. Can I do it? Is it a, is it an Elizabeth original if I don't add washi tape? 
Oh my goodness, did I just talk about myself in the third person? I did, you guys, I did. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna date this without washi. Oh my gosh, who am I right now? So if you don't know, if you're new to my channel, I put washi on everything. It is my favorite thing to do. And redating planners is like one of my favorite pastimes. I do it even when it's a current planner because redating your planner is such a great opportunity to add some fun playfulness to your planner. And I absolutely love everything about it. I love the opportunity to add a little extra something, something. So it's very unlike me to just put days down without, um, without putting washi down a foist. All right, so we've got kind of a weird thing going on with this week because it's half November, half December. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and put December. Or maybe not, maybe I won't put, should I put the month? Maybe I don't, maybe I'll just put it here. That'll cover white out, bam. We'll just do that, December. Um, do we want to add numbers? I think we should add numbers. Let's do that. And where do I want to get my numbers from? Let's get my numbers from, let me grab, let's grab this Live Love Posh Functionally Chic Sticker Book. Um, all of these numbers, yeah. Do I wanna do big old circles? So I need the 30th or 29th, 30th, and then yeah, I mean I've got all the I've got all the dates, so do I wanna do do I wanna do that? I guess so. There's already black in the spread. So although that's gonna cover up a lot. Let's just go for it. We'll just do this keep it simple something that I have a very hard time <laughs> a very hard time doing all right I'll date this bad mamma jamma and then I gotta decide if I want to do anything else special with the rest of this or if I want to leave it really simple this week and in my heart of hearts I want to keep it simple whoa hello super crooked um, I think I will probably add some social media icons, but other than that, I think I am going to keep it simple. Because as we get into the holiday season, I get more into list making and like brain dumping, which means I'm just going to need, I'm just going to need writing space. Okay, so let's grab, hmm. Uh, let's add some social media icons and I have some from let me grab my album hold on BRB I'm still here guys don't worry I'm still I'm still here um, so I've got which ones do I want to use my Brooklyn Sweets. These are my favorites. She kind of changed them. So like these are my, my ride or die for my icons. But then she started doing these ones. Just curious. These ones are like shiny though, see that? And these are matte. But look at the design difference. I kind of like the old school, but I like the clean, the cleanness of those ones. So kind of on the fence about that. So where do I want to put them? So I know for sure I'm trying to post on YouTube um, Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, Sunday. So I know I want to put one of these on, oops, Tuesday. So I'll log what video I'm posting. And then 
I want to do one on Thursday. So up here, just for how I'm using this, the top is where I'm going to write down my content. What did I post? What did people see from me? And this section, maybe I will just have it be, did I respond to comments? That's totally fine. Um, and then down below is like anything that happened that day. So it's kind of like a journal, if that makes sense. So we'll do YouTube and then I wanna do, make sure I log here if I did something pertaining to Instagram. And I try to post regularly, like daily on Instagram, but it just doesn't happen. <laughs> um, more often than not, I post on Instagram when I'm posting on YouTube. So if I've decorated a spread, I've done a plan with me on YouTube, it's gonna have a corresponding picture and that's what shows up on Instagram. So Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, Sunday, or excuse me, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, Sunday, and then um, there'll be probably some bonus videos in December because there's a lot going on at the end of the year. So content up here, here I'm going to say whether or not I responded to comments and I'm going to go ahead and just put a little icon here so the Instagram will correspond with the Instagram row and the YouTube icon will correspond with the row for YouTube going all the way across. We're going to call it good to go unless I can see any other opportunity for a woodland creature. Um, I love these so much. I feel like I should be adding all's the, all's the things. I like this little dude for Friday, right? Could I add him here? There's still room to like write stuff here if I end up posting. And maybe, can I put a little, can I put the skunk right here? I think that works. Cute. All right, I'm gonna call it good because it's very easy to overdo it with woodland creatures. You gotta know when to say when, you know what I mean? And what's cool about this is I still have, um, sheets to be able to do a woodland creatures spread again soon which trust I will be doing so let's see what this looks like on discs all right friends we are done what do you think how freaking adorable is this this is so cute I'm gonna have so so much fun writing it in this week and um it was kind of nice not to deal with washi tape this is the first time in a long time I have not used washi so just to recap what we're doing this week, I am going to use these shaded sections to check off that I've responded to YouTube comments and Instagram comments each day. Um, these open boxes are just gonna be a free for all. Uh, if I decide to post something, I will. But I am trying to be intentional about posting Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday. And I'm gonna put what I posted on those days. Down here where it's just basically a vertical lined layout, I'll just journal things that happened that day or just any notes about projects or if I do my uh, morning musings over on Instagram, anything I talk about or if I post a poll, that's something that I'll write down down there. So there you have it friends, this is my social media layout for the week of November 29th to December 5th. I will leave information down below. So always make sure that you check the description box. I'm probably more thorough than I need to be trying to make sure that if I use something, you know where you can access it if you're interested in it. So come hang out with me over on Instagram. My handle is ejjoyful underscore plans. It is always a good time. I love hanging out with the planner community there and I love doing it here too. YouTube has become a really fun place for me and I'm just having so much fun. Um, I don't know, stepping outside my comfort zone and engaging with you here. So if you love hanging out with me or just enjoy it. You don't have to love it. If you enjoy hanging out with me and you want to do it again, I do hope that you will subscribe to my channel and come back. Until then, God bless you and keep you. Do something creative today and I will see you in my next video. Bye!